have sent tonic waves throughout vast areas of the Karoo. The process involves pumping water and chemicals to great depths to fracture shale rocks and release deposits of gas. The two main concerns are the large amounts of water needed in this arid region and the possibility of the chemicals poisoning underground water reserves. A large anti-fracking campaign is underway. However, the campaign suffered a major setback recently when government's influential planning commission under Minister Trevor Manuel gave its support to exploration. It was very premature of them to come out and make a decision about it and that in fact rather than taking a partisan stand in the thing, they should be a proper independent mediator. Royal Dutch Shell admits that water is one of the main issues. The company denies accusations that underground water has been poisoned by fracking in other countries. Water, we will truck in initially for the at least six exploration wells we want to drill. These exploration wells tell us two things. They will tell us whether the shales are there and whether they can produce gas, but it will also tell us more about uh, uh, water. Some geologists believe that there are large reserves of gas deep under the soil of the Karoo, but say that exploration and mining must be carefully monitored by watchdogs. Well, the next step would be to for the minister to appoint a, um, an institution. Despite the Planning Commission's approval, there's still a long way to go before Shell starts what opponents call fracking up the Karoo. Shell says it will take months to get environmental impact assessments and other processes done. Mike Proctor-Sims, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.